Hello everyone, well, my name is Mick Thick, and welcome back to Dying Light. We're gonna resume off where we left off last time, and right, we just got back from this guy, the quartermaster, we got the stuff from him, we picked up this table leg, and what we need to do right now is get a shot of Anderson from Dr. Zara. That's a nice name. We gotta go out these Don't doors here. Yeah. What, what, what? Okay, new guy, be careful out there. We've lost too many already. I'll be careful, bud. It is bright and gloomy out here. Okay, noob. You've got Dr. Zeta set up in a semi-trailer on a fenced and plain court. When you leave the tower, hang a left and head due south. You can't miss it. It's Crane, kid. All right, all right. Crane. Just keep moving. There's no time to take in the sight. What if I want to take in the sight? Too much noise. Sound attracts those fuckers. So it looks just like Dr. Zero is in this area right here. We have to jump to here. On top of the car. Up to here. And he's right in here. I bet he's in this big trailer right here. He has to give me some answers and pass his boys and knock on the door. No one answers, so I just have to open it? Hello? Anybody there? Camden, are you there? Uh, so, I'm supposed to get a vaccine? What? No, no. Suppressant. It's called Antizen. Suppresses the symptoms. Here, sit. Antizen postpones the inevitable. Best the GRE could do. Inevitable? So, th there's no cure? It's a variation of rabies. There's no cure right now. But you see, I've been running tests on both Antizen and infected tissue. A cure is possible. Definitely possible. Oh shit, you really think you can figure it out? With Dr. Camden's help, yes. I think so. Uh, now where did I put that injector? Hey, who's Dr. Camden? A colleague trapped in Sector Zero, where the outbreak first, well, broke out. We've been collaborating via radio, though we would have made more progress if the connection were better. Also, if my... Earlier experiments had borne fruit. I tried injecting recombined versions of the virus into chunks of meat and leaving them around the city, hoping some of the infected would eat them so I could observe and document the results. But they didn't? Uh, it bore no fruit. I'm ashamed that I wasted so much time on it. No reason to hold any antizen in reserve now. In any case... All right. I'm quite busy, so on your way now. You're just what pushing me I'm out? Doing? Why, that's not very nice, old guy. Keep it fast. Rahim, Zara checked me out and gave me another shot. Okay, great. That ought to hold you. For a while. It should. Which is good. I'm starting to get used to the idea of bossing you around. So, time for a real trial. Go talk to Spike. You'll find him near Zeta's truck. He's got the first real job for you. I gotta find Spike. But first, it looks like we leveled up our survival skills. Nice, let's level that up. Go to survivor rank. And we're gonna unlock survival starter kit. Great. And lets us craft simple basic things. And looks like this is Spike right here. Hey Spike, I'm Crane. <sighs> Just what I need. More unskilled labor. All right, shut up and pay attention. There are two types of airdrops. One has food, first aid supplies, survival gear and such. The other kind is filled with antizen. The GRE sends in a one-way video feed that lets us know when they're on the way. Look, the trouble is, the airdrops with antizen keep getting raided by Rise's thugs. And without antizen, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys only operate during the day because going out after dark is a dandy way to get killed. But the next two Anderson drops are coming down right at sunset tonight, and Brecken means to go after them. This may be our only chance to reach the airdrop. What's my part here? Well, as I said, going out at night is basically suicide. Or it would be if I hadn't been setting up safe zones and traps out there for weeks now, which I have. Now, Brecken and his team will be okay tonight so long as you get out there now and arm those traps. That's your part. All right. What are these traps and how do I arm them? You'll see. I'll be talking you through it. Just remember, without these traps, 
Brecken won't survive the night, and if he doesn't come back with Anderson, we are lost. I will not Before fail you. Head out there, grab some firecrackers. Firecrackers. I made them myself. They make a fine Ooh, distraction bud. if you get in trouble. Thank you. Get out of the way. Okay, I gotta prepare traps for Brecken's mission. Looting is everywhere. We gotta loot is the key to survival, and we will do it. So we gotta prepare a trap for Brecken's mission, and it is in this direction. So let's head off and prepare them traps. We can also search these recycling bins and get metal parts and other things, and kill you, because you don't deserve to live. Ah, your head fell off. <laughs> it looks like this is the first trap right here, the car. First, the car. Open the hood, connect the battery, that'll arm the trap. Did it. Jade here. Is anyone outside right now? Urgent help needed. Um, I'm outside, working for Spike. You're great, right? Listen, our runner's trying to secure one of our safe houses for Brecken's mission. He's in a courtyard by Beffa and Mimar, surrounded by zombies. We gotta help him. I will right, help I'm him. I'm on it. On my way, I need to save a fellow survivor. We will do it. But if we go in here, we get some special stuff like metal parts. Uh, I think that's... Wait, something up here? Yeah, we got some chemicals. Like the acid. Boom, out of my way. So it looks like that safe zone's right in here. We have to help this guy. Yeah, the zombies are. Okay, Jade, I'm here, along with some infected. Watch yourself, Crane. We can grab the table, like. We gotta beat these zombies! Beat them till they die! Ooh, headshot. Kick. On the floor, son. Stay on the floor. What I say. I'm gonna search this body while that one gets up and kick him back down. You're not alive anymore, buddy. Gonna open up this door? See if the guy's still alive? Oh, he doesn't look too good. Are you okay, buddy? Oh man, I think it's too late for this guy. Uh, what are you doing? You don't look too right. good. Finish it. Just don't Oh! Woo. Woo. Don't touch me, you're gonna die. Ah, uh, you're dead, son. I'm really okay, bloody. It's done. Fuck. You had no choice. You were I'm just gonna go inventory, equipped you for you, and we're Not good. Human anymore. Now hurry. You still need to turn on the Got light. A better weapon That's now. the only way to make this place safe at night. Okay, I'll turn the power on, okay? It's good and it is now safe. Safe zone unlocked. I gotta oh, contact shit. the GRE. Got the lights on? Uh, almost. Just give me a second. You gotta go on the top of this roof here so you can contact the GRE with no one knowing. Crane here. Report. Okay, I met this doctor. Scientist type. They've got him set up in a sort of research trailer and he's working on a cure for the virus. His name is Zara. Hello? Do you copy? Affirmative. Secondary objective added. Maintain your cover and secure all of his research. Acknowledge. Your stolen file still takes top priority though, right? Affirmative. We find it unlikely that a single researcher working out of a trailer could produce any significant results. But if he does, we want to see it. I'll let you see it. You will see it. Jade, it's done. Good. We'll need to prepare more places like that one. We've got more spots picked out for future safe right zones. There. Spike will mark them on your map later. And Crane, thank you. Back to you, Spike. Right now, you need to get back to our main task and arm the next trap. There's another car close by. Ooh, got it. <laughs> Infected are all over the street. So what does that tell you? Keep off the street. Try to stay on the rooftops where they can't reach you. They're all around the car, Spike. You still have some firecrackers, don't you? Just throw some into the crowd. Those dead bastards were easily distracted. I threw my firecracker over there and we're good. Okay, let's do it quickly. Put up. Battery on. And we're good. Let's do it for the other car too. Over there. They're distracted. Pop the hood. Turn it on. No. 
craft yourself. Now do the hood and pop the batter. Pop the hood and do that. He's done. Keep all like that, you just might make it. The next truck's no spot, and I shouldn't have to tell you, but don't get caught out in the open. I won't. Spike, these freaks are everywhere. If I need to use a trap, how do I activate it? They can't. I told you, they're only for the night mission. Shit. Okay. So the next one is up here, the light pole. So we jump up here, go across, and turn it on. It's quite a contraption you got here. Three times brighter than an ordinary street lamp. Gives the effect of quite the sunburn. That's good, let's keep moving. And there's gonna be another one right up here. Yeah, it's here. No, we don't want to go up here. It's right here. Can we open it and turn it on? No, not to get open. Now it's on. We keep moving. Got some blade, and let's keep moving. So there's another one right there, and another one over there. We'll get this one for now. So we jump up here, and then we gotta go across, and a big jump! We made it. So we gotta jump across here to there. Can we make it on the first try? And we got it. And let's turn it on. Okay, lights are all set. You ready for the next one, then? Better hurry! Next one's on top of this train cart over here. And then we turn the light on, and it's good. Well, why is there electricity? What's happening? Oh, nut, it's off. Fuck, Spike, the whole goddamn district went down. What the hell's going on? Oh, not again. All right, listen. There's a power substation near you. Go check it out. Okay, we gotta go to this power station right here, and hopefully we'll be able to turn the lights back on for the night mission to be successful. So it looks like yeah, that's the power thing right there. Hey, this blackout has really put us in a tight spot. We're defenseless here, plus the safe zones and some of my traps are down too. We need to get the power up and running ASAP. Okay, let's turn it on. Wait, what's that noise? What? Oh, it's a big boy with a hammer. I'll oh, stay away from him. What? You can't do that to me. You can't do that to me. That's cheating. <laughs> See you like your hammer, bud. Going in here so no one will be able to touch me. And we open it up. Here is the light thing. So we open it up. And we flip the switch so the power is on. And we're good. All right, I've got the substation reset. But if the grid shorted once, you know it could happen again, right? You leave the electrical engineering to me, okay? Just get your ass to a safe zone. You're gonna have to spend the night there. Now that the power's on, we need to find a safe zone. And stay there for the night. Because we can't go back to the tower. It's too dangerous for that. So we're going to the safe zone where we made it safe earlier today. It's not that far away. It's a couple minutes. So we, we, we got it. We got it. Just gotta jump over these trains. Make sure no zombies touch us. Or else we'll be gone. We'll be dead. But we won't let them touch us. So we're, we'll, we're good. So we need to get back to the shelter before it gets too dark, even though it's already too dark to get back to the shelter, but we're going to do it anyways. So the shelter's just past this truck here, past the buildings, and it's right there. We're good. Just make sure no one touches me. And we're good. Get up here, in the safe zone, and we're safe. Now let's get back to our sleeping bed, so we can sleep the night off. What's the noise? What is that? Oh, shit. It's like a mutant zombie all green and full of blisters. Is it still there? The fuck is there? That? What is that? Hey Doc, this is Kyle Crane. Chris! What can I do for you? I just saw this freaking weird zombie. He's covered in big green blisters. It, it hauled ass as soon as it spotted me. You know anything about it? Not enough information, I'm afraid. But if you see another one, do let me know. Will you? I will, Doctor. 
So there's another blueprint right here we can get. And we'll sleep the night off. And it's right. now the morning. You're awake. Something bad happened. We need to talk. Okay, give me a sec. So now we gotta go talk to Spike. Cooperative mode is now available. That is great. We got new DLCs, the Bozak Horde. A new challenging Dying Light adventure is now available. Look for the Bozak Horde. It's pretty cool. New DLC outfits. New players. Outfits have been unlocked. Check your stash to wear them. Really interesting. It's nice. DLC, new blueprints. New blueprints have been unlocked. Press I to access the blueprints menu and create new ones. That's good too. We got DLC Cuisine and Carva. Two additional quarantine zones have been made available. We can do that later in the future. Sounds good. We're close to Spikes. He's just past these two buildings here and we can talk to him and find out what the bad news is. Yeah, it's over here. We jump up here. And Spike is in this building here and we talk to him. Crane, first of all, you did great out there. From now on, if you need something, come see me. And to start with, use a UV flashlight and a remote control. You run up on a volatile, give him a face full of UV, or lead him into a trap which you can trigger with that remote. You got it? Got it. Good. Perfect. Now for the bad news. Despite your efforts, Brecken's mission failed. Ah, oh, shit. Is he okay? He's alive. But you need to get back to the tower. Jay called all the scouts in, and that means you. That means me. Okay, spiky boy. Thank you. We can get some stuff from this guy. That's good, and we got a new survival skill point that we can use. And we will unlock four new slots in our carrying weapons so we can carry more weapons. That is great. Now let's go back to the tower, which is right there. But first we gotta contact the GRE and tell them what has happened. We gotta climb one of these buildings and get to there. New agility point, that's great. That's the first one of agility. And we will learn the dodge so we can now dodge zombies if they try to hit us. That's great. Contacting the GRE. Crane here. Report. I'm about to have a meeting with the tower's leader. Acknowledged. Confirm his identity and contact us immediately. I will do that. So we gotta go in here. Go all the way upstairs and meet the tower's leader. Means we got to take the elevator all the way up. Brecken's mission failed. Jade called a meeting in the tower. It's my opportunity to finally meet with Brecken and confirm his identity. We're about to meet the leader, Brecken. Sounds interesting. What do you got to tell me? Good job out there, 31. Uh, I mean, Crane, right? Yeah, that's right. So it looks like Brecken's over here in the headquarters place. Crane. Listen, Brecken and a team of runners went after an airdrop last night. He lost the rest of his team to Biters, and then Ryza's men ambushed him, beat him to a pulp, and stole the drop. Now Brecken wants to go after the next drop himself, but we can't let him, and you've got to back me up, okay? For God's sake! You can't even walk straight! We need you alive, you idiot! Okay, we're going in. Act confident. I will. Brecken? Lena? Maybe you can get through to him. Jade, who's your friend? Kyle Crane. Look, Brecken, the last thing we need is for you to go back out there. We can figure out another way without jeopardizing you. Right, Crane? I'll go. I'll do it. Right. Yes. Crane will go. He'll be happy to. Jesus. No offense, friend, but you're as green as grass. You can't just... Crane will manage. He'll start in the right spot. 
And Lena's right, you need to be here taking care of the towers, convincing them the world's not over yet. Fact. Oh, hell. Maybe one more try before we go to Rice. Yeah. Okay, fine. I get to shake his hand. That is a deal, sir. Good luck, Crane. Jade, a moment. Sure. Head for the cauldron. I'll be in touch shortly. I will see you later, girl. Hey, it's Lena. Look, there's something else we need to discuss. Brecken was hurt pretty bad out there. Worse than he wants people to know. He took a blow to the head. Now he's starting to have seizures, and I don't have any Lora tracks. Yeah, I doubt anyone does. Anti-seizure drugs were being passed out like candy when the infection first started. And the stores ran out weeks ago. Yes, that's right. How do you know that? Look, what do you need me to do, Lena? There's a man in town named Gazi. He's not altogether there, if you know what I mean. His mother had epilepsy, so he used to pick up medicine for her each month. She died two years ago. But Gazi kept going to the store to pick up her prescription. He likes his routine, and Gazi can be very... insistent. So, they kept giving it to him. You think he's been stockpiling it all this time? If he hasn't, I don't know where else we're going to get it from. Gazi lives under the overpass. And don't mention his mother's death. He won't understand. Why won't he understand, Lena? Tell me what? Okay, that mission's called Mother's Day. Well, let's see, what do you have to tell me? Daoud must still have a lot of things in that pawn shop of his. Yeah, probably a bit of everything, really. I sure could use some of that stuff now. Thanks for that. Not really. Okay. Hey, okay, what does this Jared need to tell me? Hey, do you have spare keys for 202? Well, what's the problem? Something's going on in there. The door's locked from inside. That's good to know. I'll check it out. Now we gotta go upstairs to see what the other people have to tell me. There it is again. Why are you around this door? What do you tell me? What's going on here? Bayer's locked himself in the room. We could hear him screaming. He may have turned. You hear that? I can't get this lock. You wanna try it? Sure, I'll try it. Let me do it. The door is locked, did you try that first? But I can unlock it. Lock picking. Easily. Give it a try. Oh. Got it this time. Up, oh, up. Oh. Got it. That was easy. Oh, he's good. But here, you in here? Help me. What? Are you hurt? Why on the ground? Tell me what's wrong. I can't move. My chest feels like it's going to explode. Are you turning? No, no. I took antizin and the pain started. Ugh. The vial is on the floor. This vial? Why did it kill you? What's happening to you? What you took is junk. What? It's fake. Where did you get this from, Bahir? Please. I need a doctor. First, tell me who sold you that. I can't. I promised. This guy is very useful. He brings me things from the outside. Yeah, like phony antizin? People could be giving this to their kids. You want them to go through this? No! God, no! Then tell me who sold it to you. Yusuf. He's one of the scouts. He lives on the roof. Okay, I'll get Dr. Lena. You boy, no, we need help. Please. What That's, happened? Dwight has a tongue or something. Him? What? Look, no. I've got to get out of Look, here. Look, he's not turning, but I he needs a doctor. Wife and kid somewhere I safe. He was well, it seems to me this is about the only he's safe place there is. If he needs Safest doctor, place in the slums, the maybe. Doctor. But the slums aren't safe. It's no place for my family. And I found a way out. You mean out of the slums? I can't tell you the details, but I need to get across town, and I can't do it without a gun. If you'll get me one, I'll tell you about a place that hasn't been looted yet. I promise you won't regret it. Well, how do you I know this place hasn't been looted? Because there's only one person that has access to this place. And you're looking at him. Bring me a gun, and the key is yours. As well as everything you find there. Okay, maybe I might even think about doing that. 
First, we gotta uh, uh, go downstairs and get Lena. Because this guy needs help upstairs. You better have a look at this. The lot number's wrong. Is this a fake? Someone on 21 took it, and now he can't even get off the floor. Aman, get down to 21 now. Where did he get it from? Yusuf. He's one of the scouts. Well, he can't be producing it here. Someone's supplying him. I'll have a talk with Yusuf. The sooner the better. Don't hurt him. Just talk to him. Well, I'm not gonna talk to him. I'm just gonna rip his legs off and then he'll learn a lesson from that. But we gotta go to the roof to talk to him to do that. All the way up. I bet he's this way. Hey, here's my boy Rahim. How you doing, son? You tired. Here's the Yusuf boy. Yusuf? Welcome to Yusuf's Emporium. If it's hard to find, you need to find Yusuf. Whatever your needs, Yusuf has it all. Yeah, I'm looking for Antizen. Well, of course you are. My friend, this is your most lucky day. No, Yusuf, it's your lucky day. Because I'm going to give you a chance to come clean and tell me where you got that counterfeit junk you sold to Bahir. Bahir? Bahir, you say? Do I know this, Bahir? He nearly died from that phony Antizen you sold him. Phony? Are you sure? You're saying it's no good. I just bought ten vials from those guys. I paid good money. Which guys? Well, that's kind of a sensitive issue. Which guys, Yusuf? I'm running out of patience. There's a building next to the drugstore. A couple of survivors live there. I don't know how many. I've never been inside. They have medicines. Some of them are real. I guess from the drugstore. They also cook their own stuff. The guy I deal with is named Bento. All right, now you're going to burn the rest of those vials. But they cost me a lot of money. It'll cost you a lot more if I find you peddling that junk anymore. You just got told, son. So next thing I need to do is contact the GRE. But guys, it sounds like this is the end of this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. My name is Mick Thick, and I'll see you next time. Peace.